Hey everyone, it's Gardener Sydney back again. And this week I am in the Moore School Garden. So for some of you, this is your garden. And for some of you, this is a new space. Um, and this week we are going to be looking at signs of fall. So looking behind me, are there any signs of fall you see right away? All right, let's go explore the garden to look for more signs of fall. To me, the things in the garden that look like fall the most are our sugar maple trees. These trees that are changing from red, almost no leaves at the top, all the way down to the bottom. This is one of our biggest signs of fall. All of these leaves that fall down from our sugar maple trees here and have beautiful colors. In our garden, we can also look at the plants we're growing to see signs of fall. I have some flowers here that I'm going to show you. Here, we have some lovely flowers. They're nice and bright orange, but some of these flowers are starting to burn out. We can see here that they're starting to dry up and they're pretty much done making new blooms. That is a big sign that fall is coming. The corn in our garden is another really good sign of fall. The corn is this tall brown plant here. And why do you think that I think it's fall after seeing this plant? Does it remind you of anything? We'll talk about it after. Even though it's fall, some plants don't always look like it's fall. This tree is right next to this tree. But they're very different colors. Why do you think they're so different right now? One way that this tree helps us to know the seasons What's that? That looks like an apple to me. We have one growing on our tree here. When I think of apples, I think of fall. Do you know any fall things that go along with apples? Maybe something you've done here at the school or maybe foods that you eat? I don't know. Here on the sidewalk, I've laid out some leaves to look at. These leaves are at all different stages. Some leaves are still pretty green. Some leaves were just turning red and some leaves are pretty brown already. It's not just leaves that show us that it's fall. We also have things like this. These beautiful white flowers and those red ones over there are flowers that bloom in the fall. They're a good sign that fall is here. I know that we're looking at signs of fall, but there's some signs that are also confusing to me. Look at these flowers. If it's fall, then why are these plants blooming? This flower is blooming too. It even has all of these buds that are just about to bloom. And these plants are still making tomatoes. I see red tomatoes and green tomatoes and tomatoes that are changing colors. I even see new baby plants sprouting up out of the ground. But it's obviously fall. Our corn has gone brown. Our trees are losing their leaves. So why are there still all of these signs of things growing? That's kind of a mystery to me. I'm gonna ask that you all help me figure out if it's fall, why are things still growing in the garden? Why am I still planting seeds? And how are those things gonna keep growing when it gets really cold? Okay, so we explored Morse Garden a little bit, and now we are back at Russell Garden. So let's see if we can find any signs of fall at Russell Garden. This plant was one of the first things that I noticed. Can anyone think of why? We talked about it a little bit at Morse Garden. We have our dry corn here at Russell as well, and we have a visitor on our corn plant. And I don't know if this is a sign of fall really, but I wanted to show my Russell students. The plant that had a red stripe down the middle doesn't have that stripe anymore. And I really don't know why, but that one turned bright red. Thanks for exploring signs of fall with me today. And I can't wait to do our activity right now. Bye everyone.